We're rolling. Okay. Thanks. Okay, what I want to talk about is uh, self-energizing automotive brakes. This hydraulic slave cylinder here is double acting. There's two pistons in here. When you step on the brake pedal, it pushes the back piston to the back and the front piston to the front. The direction of rotation on this side is this way, clockwise. And the way in which self-energizing brakes work is when this piston comes out, it pushes the front shoe against the drum. With the drum rotating clockwise, the front shoe contacts the drum and rotates around, which causes the bottom of the front shoe to push straight to the rear. What happens is the top rear piston here pushes straight to the rear, so the rear shoe is moving to the rear at the top and to the rear at the bottom with implied pressure from the front shoe pushing straight back. So it is the rear shoe which does all of the braking because it moves straight back into the drum. It is magnified by the rotating force because this piston pushes on the front shoe and the front shoe slips around on the drum and pushes straight back on the bottom over there. Now when you understand that self-energizing concept, the way the shoes are supposed to be installed is the short shoe, which doesn't do any braking. It just provides rearward force for the rear shoe. The, and you'll notice one of these shoes is short, doesn't have as much lining material on the shoe frame as this one does. Over here, the lining material runs all the way up to the edge of the web on the metal frame of the shoe. Whereas over there, it, it stops early. And the reason it stops early is they're saving material. The front shoe doesn't need that much material because it doesn't really do any stopping. Uh, consequently, it's important that you have the, uh, they're usually also a softer material that grabs the drum. You need to have that one on the front and then this very thick, very heavy, very hard, very long lining shoe is the one that stops you. It needs to be on the rear. And oh, these are backwards. These are backwards. Okay. And it's part of why this rear shoe has gotten so drastically thin. We're almost clear down to the rivets here, you see. Mm -hmm. But we're just a little tiny bit away from the rivets there because it's the wrong shoe in the wrong place. It's the soft lining and there's less of it, and yet it's the one that's being called upon to do all the braking. Hmm. If they would have installed these correctly, uh, this big, hard shoe would have done all the stopping, and it probably would still have some life in it. But because they put them on backwards and didn't understand the dynamics behind self-energizing brakes, uh, they burned up the primary shoe, putting it in the secondary location. So that's okay. how they work. Well, good thing we checked it now. Yes, it is. <laughs> Excellent.